Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to ServiceNow 911. In the series of community questions, I am today discussing this question, workflow script to create a standard change. So in this question, we will discuss workflow, we will discuss workflow script and we will discuss how to integrate, how to use the variables of service catalog into the workflows. So a very integrated, interested concept. Stay connected till the end of the video. So this is my demo instance. Here I have created this uh, very standard simple catalog item. You see here, demo standard change and in this catalog item I have two variables, planned start date and planned end date. So now let me quickly show you the demo. So let's click on try it. You see here this is start date. So let me provide a start date as tomorrow and date as after two or one hour week click on order now an item is being generated click on it this is the request these are the variables it is pending state so let's go to the bottom where I have a simple approval right click approve it now it's approved so let me go to the bottom again show the workflow so here it starts from here it comes to group approval then it came here where it has to set the values and then the run script this is the thing which we will discuss right away okay finally it got finished so at the bottom if you check there is a corresponding change request which is created so in that change request I have the same start date and end date the same which we have added here so now let's go to the workflow of this item this is the workflow let's open it so this is the workflow let me maximize it okay so now it is visible properly let's open this run script so for that we have to check out the video finally this is the script let me maximize it so that you can see it properly so a very simple glide record is being used here in this run script activity so what is this activity whenever you want to do any kind of scripting in the workflow you have to use this activity known as run script this is the object chd we have to initialize it and then i have used a function so there is a template which is already there in the system and what i'm doing i'm directly using that template so you need not to add any further values okay you just need to use the template in the scripting the way I have used and the function is apply template and in brackets name of that particular template so let's check the template first of all so this is the change this is the all template and let me find out the template this is the template ladies and gentlemen click on it you will be able to see what it should do okay so these all are the value which I have predefined in this template. So just we are applying this template via scripting. Okay. So you can do when you have to do such kind of activities. You can use template and apply it directly the script. Okay. So after applying the template. I am just making one change. In which I am replacing the start date of the change. With the variables which I have put in. The variables of the catalog item. So what I'm doing, I'm just adding the value. So how to do, how to capture the value of variables in the run script that is by this syntax, current dot variables and then the name of the variable. So this is object dot name of the field equal to current dot variables dot name of the variable. Again for end date the same thing and then, and then at line number six, I am making this particular RITM as a parent of that change that's why object dot name of the field that is parent equal to current dot sys ID that is the sys ID of requested item on which we are working okay so by using this statement a record is being inserted I am just capturing that object here in the ID and I am using that to update the change nodes of current requested item okay so what I am doing here, glide record, change request, then gr.get. This get is a very interesting thing. I will create a separate video to explain the use of get. But for the time being, just remember, 
the get is getting the glide record of this change request okay because we are passing the id that is the sys id of the change which is created so that's why we are able to use the change number here okay so i hope this is done this is the activity okay so now let me open that particular ritm once again this is that ritm you see here this is the close notes standard change name of that change which is child standard change chg003016 has been created so via the last line of that code we are updating the close notes of this ritm number so i hope this is crystal clear to you now if you have any question let us know in the comment section and don't forget to like subscribe and share because your subscription your comments makes me happy and motivate me to create awesome videos bye bye